Okay, we're going to configure the NOC module here for work with the SICK RFU. First thing we do is we click in the DTM browser here, give it whatever name we want. We're going to leave it the default. As we come down here, there's a lot of parameters we're not going to use. First thing we do is highlight channel properties, source IP address. A lot of times you make that the connecting laptop or desktop that's going to do the programming if you want to connect to the device. Um, second thing we want to do is we come down here to uh, our device list where we added our unit and we can see here here's some structures that will get added to our DDT library for ins and outs when we're done building the project. If we come to the address setting this is where we want to have the address of our uh, RFU unit itself. Obviously it has to be in the same subnet as the actual TCP IP up here of the card that we configured. So right there we're on the same subnet. We'll come back here, go to properties, and then the read write. And then we go to connection information. Everything's looking good from here. The 200 in, 200 out for the words. I'm going to X out of this. We'll nothing to build there. Everything looks good. So when we close this down, what we'll notice is we have a couple of extra structures that have been added after we build it. We'll have the EDS in and out, which are the 200 bytes. 0 to 199. And we have some extra bytes, which basically gives the health bits of the NOC card. That's why we need uh, 116 words for configuration of the cards in and out, because we have these extra bytes here. So then we come here and we the unit is already built, so we're going to do PLC, PLC connect, PLC transfer project to PLC, okay, okay, so now we are running, and what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the actual table here, go to variables, and we're going to select the EDS in, and we're going to initialize a new animation table, and expand it, and we can see here we have a whole bunch of bytes, 200 bytes, and it's really difficult to see what's actually happening. This is actually a heartbeat where the one is turning on and off. This is our counter right here. And down here, I believe byte 7 is where the data actually changes. You get different cards with different information here. Obviously, this is a string that's actually getting different information for that. So this is just the packed information that we have. If we were to look at that Visual Designer in a string format looking at ASCII, it would actually be the barcode reading for which, which you have.